Welcome to Bravo Alpha Charlie. Today we're going to do something different. I'm going to tell you about these flights. This is Delta 2302 headed to Atlanta, Georgia. Most days this flight is served by a 737-900, but on Wednesdays it's served by a 767. Because on Tuesday night, Delta's 767 from Charles de Gaulle lands at Cincinnati. If you're flying Delta to Austin, Texas, you're on Endeavor Air's 4877, a Canada Air regional jet. It's just like a personal jet, only you've got about 60 more passengers. I don't usually leave the takeoff tail this long, but I just like this move. We're going to turn, go south, and show us the side of the plane. I just think that's so pretty. But then I'm a pilot. This is a 777. Huge airplane. It's flying to Leipzig, Germany, from Cincinnati. If you notice, it has a tail number that begins with D, not N. D is the tail numbers for Deutschland. And this plane is D, A-A-L, Aerologic H. Another interesting fact about Aerologic is that airlines have a call that you may hear. United is United. Delta is Delta, but like Republic Air is Speedway because it's headquartered in Indianapolis. Aerologic has box, so the flight number for this airplane is numbered box. Aerologic saved a lot of money on this takeoff roll because they didn't have to stop. When ATC tells you to take the runway, they don't always tell you to take the runway and roll into your takeoff run. Here they were able to do that. It probably saved them several hundred dollars in fuel that it would take to re-get this plane rolling. This is American's early morning flight to John F. Kennedy Airport in New York, Brickyard 440. Oh, that's the Cracker Barrel private jet. When I said Speedway, you knew that's Republic Air because I just mentioned that in the last flight. This is an Embraer 175.
if you have any questions about any of these planes, their flights, or anything about flying, just ask them in comments. I answer all of my comments. And I'm a pilot, so I might know a thing or two. Have a great day, and thanks for watching.